Okay, so uh, tell us your thoughts on the camp today. Uh, I thought the camp today was really solid, especially with the goalkeepers. I feel like they actually listened and doing my instructions and then they, they put it onto the field, which actually helped them out a lot into making saves and helping out the team like rotate the ball from pressure to the weak side. All right, so you know, uh, obviously uh, youth development is something that uh, a lot of people are focusing on, you know, in the US a lot now. Uh, what do you yep. think about uh, Anthony Roger's approach to this? Um, I think his approach is really good. Like he's starting from now, like right now, like this really young age group. Like he's starting, like he's pushing him, like to like to be their best at this young age, and like to be really tactically smart too. Like he's like pushing every single player to make the right decision in the right spot, and it's like pushing him. Like he's gonna try to push him as hard as he can to make him to hopefully go pro. Yes, yes. So today, obviously, it was a uh, one of his camps where on the final day. Uh, what did you do today in the session? So I did today, I helped out warm up the goalies and then I helped out with um, doing the right technique for a long ball, like a goal kick. And then after that, I helped coach the goalies and help them like get like the specific detail they messed up on like in the game to help them out and like to help them out in the end result, to help them out to be a better goalie in the end. Right, so you know, obviously, uh, Anthony Roger, the player, the mm -hmm. person, uh, tell me about your relationship with him. Um, it's really good right now and it was very rocky at the beginning because he pushed me like every single day to my max and I wasn't used to that so I got really frustrated with him. So like after like every game I got taken out, I used to throw my water ball on the ground because I used to get really mad because I didn't like getting taken out. And so like he kept on telling me don't do that, like be calm with it and like and that's what helped me like it, and he also motivated me to become where I'm now. So you know obviously uh, working with younger kids now you're a little bit older, not yep. much, but uh, what's it like for you mentoring these kids? It's like, I feel really good because like I was here once. And so it's like, I want them, I know that they probably have the same dream as me, is to become a pro. And like, it's kind of nice to help having a good start, a stepping start with their career. I think, I think that's really helpful. And I think I like, it. I like doing it a lot. So tell us about that transition from being, you know, you kind of touched on it before. Yeah. But being one of those kids to know where you are now, um, it was it's really uh, it was really hard to get where I am now. And like as to say, I've already said before, like Coach Rogier, he was a big part of my life. Like he gave me so much confidence in me. And like before, like before, like I, when I joined, I had no confidence. That I thought I had no way of making pro or even making an academy team. As soon as I, like the, after the first week, he gave me so much confidence, and I felt like I became a better person and a better player on and off the field. Okay, so you know, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself right now, where you are at New England Revolution. So as you know, I'm on the 17 Revolution Academy, and like right now, um, I'm, I feel like I'm doing really well, and it's a really good environment for like a, a, like any development of player because they, all the coaches are really super nice, and they also really push you on and off the field to become a better player. And like in general, Excellent. so it's really nice. So any final thoughts on the camp, you know, like what advice would you give to kids and people looking at this video who want to uh, join the camp and also be like you? Um, I think give them advice, like when if you join this camp, be ready to get pushed as hard, you max your limit. Like don't like be prepared like to feel like you could throw up because Coach Ruggiero will do it, definitely do it. But at the end, I think you'll become a lot better and a better person and a better player. Perfect. And just to end things off, uh, what's one thing that you would say that really puts uh, Coach Roger, you know, ahead in your eyes? I, I would put him in ahead of my eyes because he was always there. He always supported me in my ups and my downs, especially in my downs when I wasn't playing well and like life wasn't going right for me. And then he always somehow brought it up and made me so happy to be with him. And it was just really nice. Perfect.